Welcome back to MVP Auto, your go-to channel for the most exciting vehicle breakdowns. Today, we're not talking about your everyday car, truck, or even SUV. We're diving into something far more intimidating, the Haster T195, a hybrid tank from the year 2000 that pushed the boundaries of military engineering. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Right off the bat, the Haster T195 demands attention. Built like a fortress, this beast measures around 35 feet long and weighs in at approximately 50 tons. But despite its size, it has a surprisingly streamlined design, at least for a tank. The armor plating is made of a composite blend of steel, ceramics, and classified hybrid materials, giving it an edge in both protection and weight distribution. The turret features an advanced angular shape designed for deflecting incoming projectiles. Meanwhile, the reinforced tracks offer superior mobility across rough terrain, whether it's mud, snow, or urban rubble. This was one of the first tanks of its time to incorporate modular armor plates, making battlefield repairs faster and more efficient. Now, let's talk about what makes the T-195 truly unique, its hybrid powertrain. Unlike traditional diesel-powered tanks, this one uses a combination of a 1,500 horsepower twin-turbo diesel engine and a cutting-edge electric motor system. The hybrid setup allows for silent operation in low-power mode, making it perfect for stealth missions. Plus, it significantly reduces fuel consumption, something that military strategists loved back in the early 2000s. Top speed, around 45 miles per hour on paved roads, which is impressive for a tank of this size. But the real magic happens in acceleration. Thanks to the instant torque from the electric motors, the T-195 can go from 0 to 30 miles per hour in just under 8 seconds, pretty quick for something this massive. A tank isn't just about speed and durability, it's about firepower. The Haster T-195 comes equipped with a 125mm smoothbore cannon, capable of firing armor-piercing shells, high-explosive rounds, and even guided missiles. But what really set it apart in 2000 was its fully automated fire control system. With advanced thermal imaging, laser range finding, and even rudimentary AI-assisted targeting, this tank was ahead of its time. For secondary firepower, it packs a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a remotely controlled 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun mounted on top. Defensive systems include reactive armor plates and an early version of an active protection system, designed to intercept incoming missiles before they strike. Step inside, and you'll see that while comfort isn't exactly a priority, the T-195 was designed with crew efficiency in mind. It's a three-man setup, commander, gunner, and driver. The seating is reinforced against shocks, and the digital displays provide real-time battlefield data. There's even an internal air filtration system, allowing it to operate in chemically or biologically contaminated zones. Interestingly, this was one of the first tanks to feature a semi-automated loader, reducing the need for a fourth crew member. Less manpower, more efficiency, definitely a game-changer. So, what made the Haster T-195 so special? Three things, hybrid technology, advanced targeting, and modular armor. It was one of the pioneers of hybrid military vehicles proving that electric power had a place on the battlefield. Though not produced in massive numbers, it influenced later tank designs, setting the stage for modern hybrid combat vehicles. Even today, military experts look back at the T-195 as a bold experiment that paved the way for future armored vehicles. It may not be as famous as some of its competitors, but it certainly left its mark. And there you have it, the Haster T-195, a hybrid tank that was way ahead of its time. What do you think? Was this a forgotten masterpiece, or just a stepping stone toward better designs? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an episode of MVP Auto. Until next time, drive safe, or in this case, roll safe.